All right, so now we have covered two type of logos, which is pictorial logo and the simple line mark logo. Third one that we are going to cover in this video is the letter mark logo. As you know, if you want to create some logos by your initials, these logos are known as letter mark and they are also popular with the name of monograms. These are the logos that consist of letters, usually the brand initials. And some of the best example of these logos are IBM, AMC and NASA itself. The full names of these companies can be too long or too boring. Seriously, how many people know that AMC stands for American Movie Classics? So these brands have opted to go officially with their initials. And here we can see this is the logo of IBM. This is for the AMC. And finally, we all know what is NASA. Similarly, many tech companies used a single letter mark logo. So some of them are these that you can see here we have Q letter mark of logo in a square box which is for Cura which is a site similarly our Facebook also uses an initial logo which is F and similarly the Pinterest use P okay so now let's see some of the really cool examples that how we can create our own letter mark kind of logo by using mid journey so let's get started so let's jump into it and here we are on our mid journey all right, then here we will write imagine letter P logo. We want it to be flat, round typography, simple. And here we have specified the name of the artist in which we want, which is Steph Keishbahar. And then we have specified some details with a no parameter, which is we don't want any shading, detailed photorealistic colors or any kind of outlines. So this is our prompt. Now let's hit the enter key. And this is the final prompt that I have come through because uh, it is wasting a lot of time by just going to iterations. But if you want to go in detail, then I want you to make sure that you try out different things because everything depends on iterations and iterations until you derived the final output that you want. So here we have created a P kind of logo, which starts for the P initial and our artwork is almost finished. And if we take a look at all of them, we can see the first one and third one in general are really awesome and they are just ready to go. We just need to add a little bit of text or if we don't want that, these are some really good examples of letter mark logo. So let's also upscale third one and we are going to see how we can make it further. Similarly, let's see one more prompt example. So this time we are going to write imagine and we are going to create a letter mark logo for letter A. So here we will write letter A logo letter mark and then we will add script typeface, which is a variety or a style of design. Then we will write vector simple by same artist, which is Steph. And then we have added the same thing, which is no detail shading, realistic color, then hit the enter key. Now, until this prompt is going on, we will add our own very simple thing, which is a very simplistic way. So we want to create a techno logo with the starting letter T. So we can try to specify cyberpunk theme or making it some really artistic. So here we will write a simple T letter logo and cyberpunk theme. And then we specify further keywords like futuristic theme vector logo and finally we can also specify the no parameter which is no shading detail realistic color and then hit the enter key until let's take a look at our previous creation and here if we see these all are really amazing initial letter mark logo designs that mid journey has just created within few seconds so this is our prompt which is first we have to specify what letter we want. Here we have just written simple letter A logo. Then we have specified our uh, kind of logo or a variety of logo, which is letter mark. Then we have by a comma, we have typed the style, which is script typeface. Then we have again given one more keyword, which is vector simple. Finally, we have just given the name of the artist, which is Steph Gishibug. And then we have specified what kind of things that we don't want in our logo design. We have written shading, detailed, realistic color, and it created this amazing logo for us. So in that specific, I want to upgrade the first one. So let's give the upscale command. And here, if we see what kind of results our previous prompt produces, which is a simple T letter logo 
with futuristic theme and in the vector design we have also specified the no parameter the same so if we take a look first one is also good the background is not that good but it can be workable but it is not looking the t but the second one among all of them is really good it creates a t initial logo with amazing technical kind of sharpness or a futuristic or robotic thing so we will upscale the u2 all right so that's all for this video here we have seen how you can create amazing different type of logos by just mentioning different artists name and varieties and the type of logo that you want to create in this particular video we have covered three type of logo number one is pictorial logo then we have seen simple line minimalistic logo and finally we have seen the letter mark kind of logos and in our future video we are going to cover some more type of logos but that's all for this video in our next upcoming video i'm going to show you that how you can finally add text to all of these logos and then make the finalized version of them some of them we are going to develop by using our canva tool and others we are going to use illustrator to make them into their finalized version so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and goodbye